Is the Reddington Field Kit the best fly rod combo on the market? Let's find out. Now here we have the Reddington Field Kit. Now I've used this extensively in my personal fishing. I use it guiding, Mickey uses it guiding. We love these rods at Tom's. They're a really, really good value for money combo. Now that comes with the rod, the reel, the line, and a handy rod tube as well. With the reel seat in there, keeps uh, storage nice and easy. Also comes with a 5X leader, nine foot 5X leader, straight out of the box. So you basically have to tie a fly onto the end and you can start fishing. That's the, the beauty of the, of the field kit. Now the field kit range from Reddington. Today I've got the nine foot five weight version, the trout setup and it's just a jet, your sort of standard nine foot five weight, perfect for all of your trout stuff. We use it on the drift boats, banks, high country, you name it. This is your go-to trout stick. It also comes in a Euro nymphing rod, a, I think it's a 10 foot three weight, and a trout spay rod. Same idea, comes with the rod reel line uh, leaders in all the three kits, and it's gonna set you up nicely from the get-go. Now the field kits are a mid-priced combo, so they sit in the middle of the range. They're not the cheapest, they're not the most expensive, sit right in the middle. Now as far as components go on the field kit, comes with an anodized aluminium reel seat for a durable, long-lasting rod, super high quality stripping and snake guides for easy line shooting and retrieval, and a smooth, medium, fast action, perfect for beginners all the way up to advanced anglers. It says five weight on the side of the blank, but I'd probably put it up to five and a half, maybe even a six weight, so it is a heavier five weight, and a bit more backbone in this rod gives it the power to throw bigger flies and bigger rigs if you need to. Anything from your tiniest dry flies up to your big streamers. I've got two streamers on this rig today. We're gonna to do some fishing behind me in a moment. Tongues to bead the back of the head. So the one key thing that separates the field kit from a lot of other combos is the line that it comes with. Out of the box, the field kit comes with a Rio Premier Gold line. If you've heard of Rio before or you've been fly fishing for a while, you'll know that Rio, and specifically the Rio Gold, is a really popular line, one of the most popular on the market and it comes on the field kit straight out of the box. So it's a really nicely matched outfit. Now a lot of other combos generally skimp out on the line. They'll put a cheaper line on there, which isn't a bad thing, it's keeping costs down, but it generally means if you buy a combo with a cheaper line, you have to upgrade that eventually. This is perfect straight out of the box. Now I'll give you a little example. So here I've got another line. This is sort of what your, what your standard kit combos will come with. And you can see as I unwrap this off the coil here, you can see that memory and that coil that, that line's got in it. Obviously you could give that a bit of a stretch and I could stretch that out to, to make it a bit more limp. I'll just pull a bit off here, off this reel to show you. Now all fly lines straight off a reel are gonna be a bit coily just by the nature of how small that arbor is. But if I give this a stretch like that and I give this the equal stretch. Now you can see the difference after I've stretched the line. This is the Rio Gold, it's sort of a straight line. Obviously it's not a very clean comparison but this line on the left here has a lot more memory and the coating is a lot more plasticky and isn't as supple um, and nice to cast. What that's gonna give you in a fishing situation, this isn't gonna shoot through the guides anywhere near as easily. It's also not gonna land straight on the water. You're gonna get coils and it's gonna be sort of tangling up and twisting at your feet. Whereas this, uh, you know, premier line is gonna be stretched out. It's gonna land nice and flat. It's gonna cast through the air nicely. It's also the right taper that's matched nicely to this rod. So casting, uh, the gold plus the field kit is a really nice uh, casting five weight. Now, the Rio Gold's a great line for this rod. It's matched really nicely, but in situations like this where I've got a lot of wind coming in my face, or if I'm throwing big indicator rigs with clients on the boat, we like the Rio Grand. So we swap out the golds and the grands in depending on the situation. It comes with the gold and it's a great line to start with, but if you're throwing bigger flies into the wind like this, or bigger nymph, uh, an indicator rigs, you might want to step up to a grand. Ooh, little bump there. So just something to keep in mind. Now, briefly on the reel, comes with a Reddington Run. Uh, great reel. Was that? But see how that gold lands nice and straight on the water? There's still a bit of coil in there that I haven't stretched out, but it lands nice and straight in a straight line on the water. But anyway, casting this rod, really nice, easy casting rod, medium fast action, loads about halfway down the blank, which is just perfect. I'm 
having no issues throwing these two streamers with they both got a big tungsten bead on it and no issues there obviously you can still see a bit of that coil you can stretch that line out and that coil out no problem at all and we'll see if this fish is still hanging around now before we got interrupted by a fish i'm going to tell you about the reel now so it comes to the reddington run again we use these guiding throughout the whole season really nice uh, drag system sealed drag um, easy enough to change spools just to press there and you can change spools in and out if you've got a couple of sinking lines or an intermediate that you want to swap out onto this. It's a cast reel, so it's light enough, but also really durable. Um, and again, you can't really get a bad reel these days. All you want is a nice smooth drag and somewhere to put your line. So who would I recommend this rod to? Generally with fly rod combos and kit rods, the words or the term starter rod gets thrown around a lot. If you don't have a fly rod and you want to get into it, this is a fantastic way to go. You're getting high quality componentry, good rod, good line, good reel. Um, and it's going to serve you well right at the start, get you going. But a starter rod isn't the right term for the field kit. You know, I'd be happy fishing this. I've, you know, I love fishing the field kits. I fish with them a lot on the boats. Actually landing my personal best trout ever on one of these. And it's going to serve you for years to come. You know, you're not going to grow out of this rod anytime soon. Again, super high quality gear and it's for a great price. You can't really go wrong if you're wanting a nine foot five weight. Nice and easy, comes in a nice travel case as well. So you can hike in, you can store it in the car, you can you know, go overseas with one of these. A lot of different use cases for it. Now long story short, the real advantage with the field kit is it's ready to go straight out of the box. You don't need to set up a rod, reel, line separately. Comes all as a kit and you're ready to fish straight off the shelf. So, Reddington field kit, is it the best fly rod combo on the market? I'll let you be the judge. Yes, got him that time. He's on it. Oh, yes. nice. That was a good eat. That was sick. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Boom! You boy! <laughs> Sick, man. Alright, I guess I should row for a bit. <laughs>